recording. Uh, so the first chapter, so this is chapter nine. Uh, sequences. Uh, series and power series. If you don't understand anything, if you cannot read my writing and so on, uh, please uh, let me know. Okay, just ask. Uh, the first uh, section is sequences and uh, convergence. Okay, now uh, what's a sequence? Uh, a sequence uh, is a function from the uh, natural numbers to real numbers. So let's write it that way. A sequence in, let's say, R, real numbers, is a function, function, uh usually we denote functions by f right but uh for sequences we don't usually use f we use a b c or x y z little uh, uh small letters so let me write a so it is defined on natural numbers and takes values on real numbers okay a sequence is a function uh a from R and to R, okay? And is the set of natural numbers uh, I am not sure whether, you know, zero should belong to natural numbers or not. Uh, some books uh, accept zero, some books doesn't. Uh, mostly we will take it uh, to our, uh, you know, set and R is the uh, real numbers. Uh, since I can count uh, the natural numbers, one way of representing a sequence is to list all of its values. So this is a function. Uh, to describe the function, either one should give you a rule for that or list all the values so a1 the value of a at 1 let's say this is uh, minus 1 half the value of 2 is 1 over 4 the value at 3 is let's say 1 over 8 and so on okay you may write it like this this is a way of representing a function listing all the values uh, but for simplicity we will write it this way instead of writing you know this a n let's say we will denote this by simply uh, simply s a sub n okay so this is a shorter way of representing a sequence. Instead of writing the value of a at n, I'll just write it this way, a sub n. And writing, you know, the values like this, instead of writing like this, I can also do the following. I can just write like this, a n, and this is uh, just 1 over 2, 1 over 4, minus 1 over 8, 1 over 16, and so on, let's say. Goes like this, okay. And uh, there are also some books, uh, instead of writing here, uh, this, you know, met parentheses, uh, they use also usual parentheses. That's also, you know, acceptable notation. And if you know uh, the formula for the sequence, then you can also write it this way. Uh, if we know 
a formula for the function a uh, we may uh, represent it using uh, its formula how let's say uh, suppose that a n is uh, let's say minus 1 over uh, 2 to the power uh, let's say n plus 1 okay and from 0 1 to n so on so if this is the case if this is the case we can also write the sequence so you see here uh, actually a1 or a1 uh, a sub 1 is just if you put uh, or maybe I should start from 0 if you plug 0 minus 1 over to the power 0 plus 1 which is minus 1 over 2 a sub 1 is minus 1 over 2 to the power 1 plus 1 so it is minus 1 over uh, to the power 2 so it is 1 over 4 similarly a sub 2 is just minus 1 over 8 and so on in this case we can also write it this way this sequence is just minus 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1 okay n plus 1 here <clears throat> this is uh, you know this formula is called the general term of a n the formula or a formula for a n or a sub n is uh, no uh, Okay. Let's see some examples of sequences. We have already seen one example, but <coughs> let's see. Uh, <coughs> the book, uh, as I said, uses both notations, uh, this one and well, it, it uses uh, this notation, but usually we write it sequences like this. But I'll stick to the book's notation. So here, this is a sequence. This is the general term of the sequence. So the nth term of the sequence is n. Here, uh, it goes like this. So here, uh, the book, you know, uh i guess <clears throat> uses uh this notation for natural numbers starting from one but uh, soon we will uh, start for example series from zero okay so uh, it really doesn't matter uh another sequence let's say n minus 1 over n so for n equals 1 you get 0 for n equals uh, 2 you get 1 over 2 for n equals 3 you have 2 over 3 and so on okay uh, let's say Let's have another one. Uh, uh, n squared over 2 to the power n. So for n equals 1, you have 1 over 2. For n equals 2, you get uh, 2 
squared 4 divided by 4 which is 1 for n equals 3 you have 9 over 8 for n equals 4 you have 16 over uh, 2 to the power 4 it's also 16 right so it is still 1 for n equals 5 you have 25 divided by 32 uh, and so on let's say uh, okay we have one more one or oh, plus one over n to the power n so what is this sequence what are the terms for n equals one you have uh, one plus one over two so it is three halves yok bir koyduğumuz zaman iki özür dilerim değil mi bir koyuyoruz iki koyduğumuzda when we plug two you get two plus one over two so five over two to the power two so it is twenty five over four or maybe I should write just five over two squared and then uh, when you plug three bir dakika yanlış yaptım ne yerine bir yazarsak üç bölü iki iki yazarsak uh, pardon üç yazarsak bir artı bir bölü üç bir artı bir bölü üç ne der dört bölü üç four over three to the power three and so on. evet yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is two to the power uh, n. Okay. Uh. Sometimes we also represent a sequence uh, recursively. Let me give you one example. Uh, let's say A1 is 1. And then all others are given in terms of the previous terms. So it's like this. An. And from one up to infinity so the first term is one uh, and the uh, rest is given by this recursive relation okay this is called recursive relation a term <coughs> is uh, uh, given in terms of the previous terms okay so in this case, what is A2, for example? So it is 6 plus A1. So this is N equals 1. When I plug N equals 1 here, so 1 plus 1 is just 2. So A2 is 6 plus A1 square root. Well, A1 is already 1, so this is square root of 7. What about A3? This is 6 plus a2 so it is 6 plus square root of 7 and so on okay another one a famous one you probably heard this before uh, Fibonacci sequence uh, a n where the first term is 1, the second term is also 1, and a n is a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 for the other terms, for n larger than or equal to 3, sorry. So, for example, what is a3? a3 is just a so this is n equals 3. When I plug 3 here, I have 2 here and 1 here. So 
this is a2 plus a1 so it is 1 plus 1 2 a4 is uh, so n equals 4 so I have a3 plus a2 uh, a3 is just 2 a2 is 1 so this is 3 and so on so this sequence is the following sequence okay I use the books notation first term is 1 second term is 1 and then you just add the last two terms to obtain the, the next one so 3 5 8 13 21 34 and so on okay all right any questions so far there are different ways of representing a sequence you may list all the values <clears throat> <clears throat> You can give a formula for the general term uh, or you can give a recursive formula okay uh, there are some uh, terms which we use to describe sequences i'll give them uh, the sequence a n is called bounded uh, from below below demiş ben de öyle diyeyim bounded uh, below by l uh, <coughs> And uh, in this case, we say also L is a lower bound for the sequence A n if A n is larger than uh, L for every n, one, two, three, and so on. Okay. Uh, the sequence so here we described so called uh, sequences bounded below the sequence xn sorry not xn an is uh, bounded above uh, by m if uh, and in this case uh, we say that m is a uh, m is an upper bound upper bound for a n if a n is less than m for every n one two three and so on okay uh okay the sequence a n is bounded if it is both bounded uh, below and uh, bounded above okay uh, in this case uh, there is a constant there is a constant k so that so that a n in absolute value is less than k for every n so bounded means it is both bounded from above and below and in this case i can choose that k uh, 
a fixed i mean the same number uh, so let's say five bounded from above by five and bounded from below by minus five you can always find such a number okay let's for example look at all our sequences so this sequence is for example is bounded from below by uh, one or minus five uh, from above it is not bounded right the values of the sequence goes uh, higher and higher okay it goes till infinity so it is not bounded from uh, above this one is bounded from below by uh, zero but it's not bounded from okay and it is also bounded from above by one right maybe i should write this okay let me let's do some examples Uh, this sequence one two three and so on is bounded below by it's bounded by one and also by let's say minus seven okay because all the terms are greater than minus seven right so there is no just a single lower bound. There are many. Uh, from above, it is not bounded because no matter how big M you choose, there will be some term of the sequence which will be greater than this term. So this sequence is not bounded from above. Uh, it is not bounded above because okay because for every uh, uh, n there is some m so that so that m is larger than a n right Siz bana istediğiniz e, terimi verin burada. Ondan daha büyük bir tane m sayısı var. Dolayısıyla da bu e, dizinin bütün terimlerinden daha büyük bir m sayısı yok. Right? No matter which m you choose, uh, no, this is the other way around. No matter which uh, M you choose, I can always find a, a term of the sequence which is larger than this number, right? Therefore, this is not bounded above. Uh, what about this sequence, which was 0, 1 over 2, uh, 2 over 3, and so on? Uh, this is bounded. Uh, below by zero for example and above by uh, one right why is that you see n minus one over n n is at least one therefore n minus one is never negative n is never negative so you divide a non-negative number by a non by a positive number so this is always greater than zero but the numerator is less than the denominator therefore this is always less than one actually it is strictly less than one but doesn't matter so this is bounded from below by zero bounded from above by one Therefore, this is a bounded sequence, okay? This is bounded from above and below. This is bounded. Uh, this is a bounded sequence. 
uh, and here we can choose <coughs> this constant which satisfies this a n will be less than k for every n uh, for example which constant we may choose here uh, but it's a bounded sequence oops Bounded, this is the bounded sequence. Uh, in fact, uh, this a n is less than one, right? So I can choose my uh, k to be one for every n. Okay. Dokuzda başladık, değil mi? Ben de dokuz buçuk olunca ders bitti mi diyedim ama e, on e, dokuz elli de bitecek, değil mi? Okay. So uh, here we described. Uh, bounded sequences another way of describing sequence another property is uh, uh, being positive or negative the sequence a n is positive if it is both uh, if it is uh, bounded uh, below by zero, uh, uh, that is, a n is always larger than zero for every n. And uh, it is negative uh, if it is bounded above by zero. Uh, that is a n is less than zero for every n okay so if the terms of the sequence are all positive or zero we call it a positive sequence if the terms are all negative or zero then we say that it's a negative sequence okay uh, this sequence one, two, three, right, is positive. Uh, the sequence, let's say, uh, one minus, uh, no, okay. minus uh, n squared okay what is this so uh, n squared plus one let's say when you plug n equals one you get zero and then uh, when you plug n equals two you get minus four so minus three uh, minus eight minus 15 and so on this is a negative sequence is negative Okay, another property for sequences uh, is being increasing or decreasing. Uh, the sequence uh, 
uh, AM is increasing if AN plus 1 minus AN is okay uh, AN is larger than AN uh, AN plus 1 is larger than AN for every N uh, and it is decreasing if a n plus one is less than a n for every n okay uh, we say uh, a n is monotonic if it is uh, increasing or decreasing. So if a sequence is increasing uh, or decreasing, uh, we simply say that it's a monotone sequence or it's monotonic. Uh, examples. So this sequence, right, one, two, three, and so on. This is increasing, increasing. Uh, this one, minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on, is decreasing, right? What about this one? Let's say I write it like this. So the general term is one. So it's one, 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 and so on, right? Uh, this is the constant sequence, but in fact, it is both increasing and decreasing because each term is larger than or equal to the previous one. And it's also less than or equal to the previous one because they're all equal uh, is, uh, increasing, decreasing, uh, so it is both increasing and decreasing. Maybe I should write and decreasing. These are all monotonic sequences, okay? These are all monotonic sequences. What about this one? Uh, minus 1 to the power n. So for n equals 1, this is minus 1. For n equals 2, it is 1. And then minus 1, 1. So it goes like this. So a term is sometimes larger than the previous one, and sometimes it's less than the previous one. So it's going up and down. So this is neither increasing nor decreasing so this is not a monotonic sequence is neither increasing nor decreasing so it's not monotonic Actually, it is uh, the uh, subject of the next definition. Uh, the sequence AN A -N is alternating, alternating if AN a n plus one is negative for every n. That is uh, any two consecutive terms terms of the sequence. 
have opposite signs. Right? A n times a n plus one is negative means one of them should be positive and the other one should be negative. So the sign of the terms keep alternating positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay? Such a sequence is called alternating. Uh, in this case, of course, no term can be zero because in that case, a n times a n plus one would be zero for some n, right? Note that in this case, uh, no a n is zero. Okay. Yes. Defendant? Oh, you mean if it if it is eleven and then ten, right? Okay. So that's not alternating. Uh you mean this, right? Uh ten, eleven, ten, eleven. A sequence like this. Yeah, it is not monotonic, but it is not alternating either. <coughs> so it is not <coughs> Pardon. Tonic, uh, and is not monotonic and it is not Yeah, 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 yeah. The signs of the uh, terms should keep alternating. Positive, negative, positive, negative. But actually, this is not, you know, too far away from an alternating sequence. If you subtract, uh, subtract, 10.5 from each term uh, you get what <clears throat> if you subtract 10.5 then you get minus uh, 0.5 and then plus 0.5 minus 0.5 plus 0.5 and so on right so it's a <clears throat> Uh, alternating sequence plus a constant sequence, kind of, right? Sorry. <clears throat> uh, sometimes Uh, a sequence uh, is described by means of a, a function f from r to r. Uh, for example, uh, let's see one example. Especially if you know the formula for the general term, then just uh, you can replace, sometimes you can replace n by a real number x and you get a function like this one. If a n is, let's say, given by this formula, so the general term of the sequence is this, uh, then a n is actually f of n where 
f is a real valued function given by this x over x squared plus 1 okay so in this case uh, there is a function f and your sequence is nothing but the values of this function uh, at the natural numbers okay uh, and this description of a sequence could be actually useful half for example i can show that uh, this sequence is decreasing using uh, this function how well for functions we know how can we check whether it is decreasing or increasing right uh, so note that I cannot take the derivative of this because this is not a function defined on real numbers. It is defined only on positive integers. However, this function is defined everywhere and its derivative, what is the derivative of this function? It's minus 1 times x squared plus 1 minus x times uh, derivative of the denominator 2x divided by 1 plus x squared squared so this is uh, okay minus x squared minus 1 uh, I have minus uh, 2x squared so it is minus 3x squared minus 1 divided by 1 plus x squared squared and what is this the numerator is always negative right this is always negative because you have minus 1 and now you subtract something from that so it is always negative and denominator is always positive it is 1 plus a non-negative number squared so this expression is always negative right this is always negative so that so that f is a, a decreasing function olabilir bakalım bunun türevi x'in türevi 1 olacak evet burası 1 Tamam. Haklısın. Ee, o zaman şurası eksi x kare artı 1. Ee, Şöyle diyeyim o zaman <gülüyor> şu var. If x is larger than or equal to one right if x is at least one uh, minus x squared will be uh, minus one or something smaller than that therefore the numerator will be uh, non-positive non but denominator is always positive so this is a negative number hence since the derivative is always uh, negative, this function is decreasing, right? Hence, f of x is decreasing. In other words, in other words, f x is less than f of y. Uh, for uh, whenever whenever x is larger than y where both x and y are uh, at least 1 yani x ile y'yi if x and y are always larger than 1 so that on that interval the derivative is negative then your function is decreasing meaning that whenever x is larger than y 
the value at x is less than the value at y. In particular, in particular, uh, since n plus 1 is larger than n, right, for every n larger than or equal to 1, uh, f of n plus 1 is less than or equal to f of n. But f of n plus 1 is just a n plus 1, and this is a n. Uh, what was this? Uh, sorry. a n was n over n squared plus 1. So this is uh, n over m n squared uh, plus 1. Yeah, but uh, Okay, so for n equals uh, for n plus one, this is n plus one. Okay, a n plus one. Sorry, n plus one, n plus one squared plus one is less than n over n squared plus one, which is a n. Okay. For uh, n one two three and so on. So here uh, we made use of calculus, right? Uh, one variable calculus you have seen in the uh, course one nineteen to show that this sequence is decreasing. Okay. All right. So it's uh, nine fifty one. Let's stop now. You break. Okay.